Okay, so talking about the social forces that have shaped my identity, one major one has been my family. They all have their own views about the stuff that's around us, even like, just like, for example, lesbians, bi's, blacks, whites, we all, they all have their own opinion upon it. Mine's a little bit different from my family's. I kind of got that from the community that I grew up in and who I was around in school. It kind of changed, like, what I believe and just what I decided that I wanted to believe in. Another f force that has shaped my identity was, like, social media. Just things, like, people say, like, you'll see all these comments about, like, this person doing this and that person doing that and, like, all the Black Lives Matter stuff around. It's kind of opened my eyes and, like, shown me stuff that I didn't know. Um, one major new awareness is I didn't realize that just looking back at how little, like, cultures that I saw in high school and around me because in like kindergarten through like my sixth grade year I don't think I had many black students in my class I only had maybe like one or two or even throughout the whole school we didn't see many and then we got to high school and there was a bunch and it was just kind of different experience to like see that and like understand that like Depending on where we grew up, it made a difference on who we saw in there. Um, also, when I did the research about, like, Indiana and having the racist background, I kind of thought it was scary that the KKK is still around. Like, and just not even, like, a year ago, they're, they were up in Lafayette. It's just kind of scary to think about that there's still people around here who want to kill people and hurt people and it's just not something I would want to do so all this has led me to think about like who I interact with and like just what we say and do towards other people and how that affects them and like what is around us that it affects us and our thinking and then it also made me think about how as an educator I need to think about not just what I believe in, but all of the stuff around them to, like, not put an idea inside a kid's head and just let them decide on their own instead of forcing them to decide, decide on the same subject as what I believe in. Thank you.